The first day we moved in, a lower kit came to the kitchen window. Immediately decided that it needed to have a name, so we called that lower kit Robert the Parrot. At some stage in that early period, it became that couple, Robert and Roberta. For me, it was like this really gradual process of learning to trust them because I wasn't a bird person at that stage. You shouldn't come in this way, you get lost. The more often it came, the more I was like, hmm, maybe I could try like going outside. Roberta started doing footsies with me. I poke her little foot and she'll hold on to my finger. It's really sweet because she lets her guard down in those moments. You got a good hold of me that time. I would put the food in my hand and they would hop on there and it was like this breakthrough moment. I was like, oh, they're just going to sit on my hand and be cute, like that they just didn't seem bothered by me at all. As soon as the door opens, they'll like, come in and have a bit of a look around. What do we call this? I don't recall inviting you in here. I'm a little loves. I get nosy and try to see what I'm up to. I'll be up, up. Roberta likes to sit on the TV. She's gone looking around in the shelves. <laughs> what are you doing? on top of the fridge, on the pictures. Robert and Roberta have really claimed this as their space. There was a period of time when the cockatoos started to come and they'd sort of chase them down. Absolute demon. They're a bit like a married couple, like you see them bickering and then two seconds later they're preening each other and snuggling on a perch. I've seen them falling asleep together and they'll tuck their little beaks into their backs. It's very cute. They do partner for life. There was a period when only one of them was visiting at a time and I was a bit worried that there was a problem. And then shortly after that, they both brought a baby here and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Look who's here. The babies are really quite adorable. Since then, I've seen two or three of their babies hoping for more. It's quite funny to watch them as parents as well, because you can see they get a little bit exhausted. Watching them take turns, like, oh, it's your turn today, Robert. <laughs> it's like discovering a whole new world to have these little wild animals visiting me and, and letting me into their world. It never gets old. <laughs> Fluff of a lizard, the dance stuck on your beak.